Hi, my name is Daryl Peterson, and I'm the manager of the Applications Engineering Department here at MicroMeasurements. I'd like to take a few minutes and show you how to connect one of our new 5,000 ohm strain gauges into one of our most popular data acquisition systems, the System 7000. The System 7000 came out back in the mid-2000s, and we've got thousands of channels of System 7000 out in the field. And for those customers that are looking to the 5,000 ohm strain gauges, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily be able to modify the System 7000 so that it can directly accept a 5,000 ohm strain gauge. There's a couple of different options. One option is to use these standard S-type resistors. This one is a 5,000 ohm resistor with small leads on it. And another option would be to use the bridge completion modules. This would present a, a full bridge into the instrument and really, in this case, with the System 7000, this one's not necessary. I'll show you how we can quickly and easily add this 5000 ohm resistor into the System 7000 so that you can directly connect 5000 ohm strain gauges right to it. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to take, this happens to be a 32 channel scanner. We're going to take this 32 channel scanner and I'll turn it around to the back side so that you can see it. And we're gonna work with this card that's all the way over to the left-hand side. So you got a screw at the top and a screw at the bottom. And you just loosen those up and you give it a tug and out comes this entire board. Now I'm gonna flip it around so that you can see that with the System 7000, you've really got sort of two boards that make up one. You can think of it sort of like this is your analog components and this is more of your digital uh, components on these two boards. But if you look closely at it, you'll see that you've got a series of shunt calibration resistors. They're the sort of the tan colored resistors. And then you've got these black ones, which are bridge completion resistors. And it just so happens that these larger black S type resistors are 1000 ohm and they're intended for 1000 ohm bridge completion. The good thing about these is that they're dry socketed. So if I want to take one out, all I do is grab it and pull it out. And I can easily replace it. So I'll take the board, lay it down, and locate my 5,000 ohm uh, resistor. And I'll just open the packaging and take it out. And you can see that really the leads on these two are dramatically different. So all I really need to do is trim the leads down on this 5,000 ohm resistor. So in order to do that, I'll take my diagonal cutters. I'll just trim them shorter. It's really that simple, that easy. I'll take the board. We'll turn it around so you can see it. And then I'll push these into the dry, dry sockets just like that. And that's the only modification that you have to do in order to get this unit to be able to balance against a 5,000 ohm quarter bridge strain gauge. Once you have this resistor in place, now you can take the board, slide it back into the scanner, and then power everything up. Again, very simple, very easy. Now the question does come up about shunt calibration. And if you leave the shunt calibration resistor in place, which for a 1,000 was a 49,500 ohm resistor, if you leave that one in place, then it's going to simulate 45,872 microstrain. You got to be careful with that because that's so high that at some excitation levels, that may push you out of measuring range. The good thing about these shunt calibration resistors is that they're dry socketed too, so you can replace them. And you could pull that resistor out, replace it with a higher value, and that higher value would simulate less. You get to choose. By default, we typically simulate 10,000 microstrain uh, simulation whenever we're shunt cowling with the System 7000. If you wanted to produce that same 10,000 microstrain shunt, you'd need a resistor that was 247,500 ohms. And all you would do is pull this resistor out, one of the tan ones, and replace it with that one, and now it's smooth sailing. You've got the same simulation, the same 10,000 microstrain, and you've got a 5,000 ohm resistor there to balance against your new 5,000 ohm input. I hope that helps you. And if you have questions about how to configure your instrument,
for inputting a 5,000 ohm strain gauge, please feel free to reach out to us at www.micro-measurements.com or pick up the phone and call us at 919-365-3800 and follow the prompts till you get to Applications Engineering and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.